Alright guys, I thought I'd go through the Pythagoras Theorem with you. So, right. so the Pythagoras Theorem, it's used to calculate the hypotenuse. So, if you draw a right angle triangle, like so, the hypotenuse is the longer side, so it's this side here. So, it's calculated the, the longer side with this hypotenuse. The formula uh, for uh, calculating the uh, hypotenuse is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The hypotenuse is your c squared, and then either of these can be your a or b. It doesn't really matter. So, say for this example, uh, c is the hypotenuse, 6 meters is your height, and 8 is your base. So then, uh, it's c squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared. C squared equals 36 plus 64, which equals 100. Now, to get rid, you need to first get rid of this squared. You can't square C. So, to get rid of the squared, you have to square root both sides. So, if you square root a um, something that's already squared, it just gets rid of the square. And you have to square root the other side. So, the square root of 100 is 10, and that's your answer. So, the hypotenuse side length is 10. So let's go with let's go through this one together. So we've got uh, the height being twelve, the base being five, and the side length is y. So you'd write it as y squared equals twelve squared plus five squared. Similarly with the other one. So you would have to um, complete the square. So it would be 144 plus 25. After that, you add them together. So y squared will equal uh, 9, 6, and 1, 169. And you would have to square root that. So y equals, to get rid of the square, and then the square root of 169. And then once you find that answer, I think it's 13 times 13, I'm not too sure. But once you find that answer, that will be your answer. So y will equal that, and then that is your hypotenuse length. So this is just a basic example of the Pythagoras theorem. I'm just also testing if... This is a good method of showing you guys theory instead of just sending you photos. Alright, bye.